Every last chorus that comes out of SM is just devouring. Reaction. Yeah, uh, 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 oh, what it do, boys and girls? It's your boy, brought the dawn back with another reaction video. This time, a little solo tune from one of the RV members, one of the Red Velvet members, Sulgi. Her song, 28 Reasons, which dropped, what's the date today? Yesterday. Um... Is this her first solo tune? I'm not too sure. I don't really follow that closely, but for some reason I think it may be. Let me use it in the description. First mini album. Yeah, first solo tune from the Queen. Okay. I'm keen to check it out. Haven't heard any of the sneak peeks or the teasers or nothing like that. So um without further ado, not much more needs to be said. Let's get into Soggy 28 Reasons. You heard? What type of vibe is it gonna be? Who knows? Okay, she's got some injuries and she's in chains. Strange bedroom. I kiss your brother. Come on, mom, chop. This beat is interesting so far. Got water droplets. I'm breaking every rule. I like her outfit a lot. Ooh. I like that whistling. I kind of like that a little bit. Like, on the lowest key, I like that. What the hell are these little weird noises in the beat? Look, I got dreams come true. The chorus is very good. I like it, especially the catchy whistles. Oh my god, what the hell's going on here? Whoa, 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 before we get into that, this is interesting, the verses she's had have been extremely short, and then the chorus is like real long, which I'm kind of a fan of because the chorus is definitely the best part, I'm not the devil, and the <laughs> that adds so much to the tune, that little whistle, bro, it's addictive. And this little breakdown there. Playing with you like a kid. You in danger. That was not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting a big dance break. Oh, yeah, I like that. Oh my god, it's just... 
It's just an SM thing, bro. It's an SM thing all around, I've noticed. Every time it's the last course, it's gonna eat so fucking hard. Every last course that comes out of SM is just devouring. Them ad libs and shit. Check this bit out in the music video too, it's dope, hold on. It's her, two of her, then she goes down, and then when it pops back up, it's the backup dancers. That's fire. Ready? She goes down, and then the backup dancers. Oh yeah, that ad lib is nice. I'm not the devil. That's like kind of like old type of R&B, early 2000s type of R&B, a tiny little bit in that chorus. Good and evil people are not clearly distinguished. Good and evil coexist with one person, even if one seems good. Greed and temptation always exist together, so we simply try to resist from being captivated by evil. Okay. Didn't, didn't know we're getting that deep on it. Okay. Well. Well. That was actually dope as hell. I can't even lie to you. The chorus in that was good. I liked it a lot. It was like, it, it was energetic, but not energetic at the same time. It had some boss bitch aura in it. The energy in it was like, yeah, I'm actually the, the best. Um, and I liked it. The whistle in the chorus, as I said, was very addictive. It stuck in my head. Come on, dope as hell. The beat was very interesting. There was all these tiny different little random sounds in it here and there, like the water droplet, um, and, and there was some other thing in there that I don't remember what it was, but that made the beat very interesting. Um, and the song itself, I liked all the outfits in this one. SM never comes to play with the outfits, that's for sure. I'm not sure what the like story or concept thing it was here, but Something was going on, that's for sure. She was like floating and shit in the music video. Okay. But yeah, I definitely did enjoy that a lot. I'm keen to see some more stuff from Sogi here. Um, and yeah, that's it for the video, to be honest. If you like, leave a like. Leave a comment what you thought of this. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you want. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.